我现在所在的位置呢是诺丁汉大学，在这么美丽的校园里面，你可以看得到这些一栋栋的房子，它不是居住使用哦，它是建筑系学生的上课教室。就在这一栋再普通也不过的房子，一走进他的阁楼，里头原来别有洞天。It shouldn't be because I mean the one that is leaking is this part, which has but there is here, but there is here, and you and you. This is a lab that we have above the house. So one thing we're doing is live projects. So. We want people to live in the house so we can see how the house performs, but we don't want to interrupt them and inconvenience them. So we actually do all our monitoring in a different room from the house. This is above the house. Because I've reset it three times because it didn't do that. Okay. But which one is this? Is this is this going up to the? So that actually goes back into the house. One of the things we're looking at is ventilation heat recovery. So we're looking at how we can provide energy efficient ventilation within the house itself, but. We have observed that the system could potentially work more efficiently, and so what the students are doing is trying to understand how efficient the system is and where it could be made more efficient. Like England, such a high scale of the country, the architect is always racked with brain pain. How can we design so that in the summer we can use the heat to reduce the air pressure and still maintain the heat within the house? 于是，透过热回收系统，冷空气从外头引了进来，冷热空气进行交换。透过电能的驱动，热空气在出去之前，热被保留了下来，可以用来预热冷空气。因此，空气流动了，室内的温度也不会一下子降得太低。所以，如果热回收系统的运转效率越高，对于能源的使用与消耗就能降到最低，也越能达到节能的功效。Ah, there's no insulation. There. There's no insulation underneath it. Yeah. So actually, that's why it's leaking. So it is. Yeah. And that's why they use this stuff. Yeah, yeah. So there's actually. 几乎每天都窝在这里记录观察、测试、调整，是这一群建筑系学生的博士班训练课程。在英国，节能永续的建筑学科训练，不只是埋首于理论数堆中。而是强调实地实作的经验累积，而这也吸引了这一位意大利的博士班学生特地前来交换学习。As a visiting PhD student, actually to to practice and to experiment something that in other places we would just study theoretically. So in a way, this is the sweet part of being a PhD student in in Nottingham, where there is a lot of experimentation. Actually. Finding out how, how things do really perform in terms of energetically behaviors. 校园里这一栋能源屋一号，从建造到入住，学生不只是建筑师，还实际住在里头。透过自己的亲身感受，实地测试各种创新的节能建筑技术是否真的可行。Is that sustainability and a consideration of the environment should underpin? All of our teaching that the students then got involved in the design process and the construction process, so they actually got hands-on experience, which meant that they had a much fuller understanding of the sustainable aspects of that particular project. 教室内，学生们围坐一起，群聚讨论。教室外就是他们展现 idea 的实验基地。这里就像创意的集散地，为永续节能建筑孕育创新人才。